All right, so I'm showing a note-taking app, and and so far we've got uh, you know things working where we can show our notes, we can show them on separate lines. Okay, it's not real pretty, but we're 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 getting there. And what I'm going to add right now is we're going to make it so we show them in reverse order, so that the last note entered will show up on top, which you know, I think that that totally makes sense. Um, and we're also going to add a date to each note entered so you can know when when it was entered. Um, so I'm going to start over in the designer and what I need to do first is I need to add a clock component because the clock component can tell us what's the date and time uh, at some point. So we, in other words when when the user clicks on submit we want to grab the date and time and kind of stick it in the note where we're building. Okay so I've got my clock component and um, back over here in the blocks editor I, I need to, to use it to add the, the time to my entry. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the clock.now block. And clock.now gives you the date, the time, everything. And you can use it in different ways, but you need to format it in some way for what you want. And in this case, what I want is I want to format it so it shows the date and the time. I could just say the date or just the time, but I'm going to grab format date time. So if I do that, you know, these two blocks together are going to basically have some text, which is the the current time. Okay. So um, essentially, what I want to do is I want to add instead of just the text, I want to add the text and the date with a new line character in between. And I'll show you show you what I mean. So I'm going to grab this text block and I'm going to build a a text and what I'm going to put in here is a backslash in and in computer science there's this ASCII code and there's all these control characters um, and the backslash basically says okay look this is not an in this is some special thing and what backslash in means for whatever reason it means a new line character okay so when I add this item instead of just adding what the user entered I want to add a kind of a combination thing and I'm going to add both what they entered the actual note and then I'm going to add this formatted date but actually sorry in between I want to put the date on the line below okay so it's going to look something like that um, and then essentially what I want to add every time to my label is this whole thing so I'm going to copy this block Okay, so I've got this note list hanging around that I don't need. But each time we want to change the label and we want to put the new stuff, this new note, right, which is now a combination, and then we want to put it, um, instead of putting it kind of below what was already there, we want to put it on top. Because remember, we want the newest note to appear on top. So I'm going to get rid of this block and I want to grab this notes list label okay and what I want is my entire note and then I want this uh, notes list label and I'll grab this guy and that's what I want to stick in my label okay so when the user clicks submit I'm gonna build this thing which includes what they just typed along with um, the formatting of the date time so that the the current time. Okay, and I'm going to add this to my kind of internal list because I need to keep track of these things internally. Um, for one reason, later on we're going to store all that to a database. Okay, then I also need to display the new entry and along with what was already there, all the old notes. Okay, and I need to put that into my label. Okay, and then I still empty out my my text box. Okay, let's let's see how it works. Um, so, let's see. My first note is I'm, I'm playing basketball. Submit. Okay, now it says, okay, playing basketball June 8, 2012. And let's now say playing football. Not very good spelling. They're, they're, ooh, I think I got a bug, right? So, it's cool. Playing football showed up on top, but after that that new note I'm missing like a new line character right so let's let's change this thing what I really need to do is 
after um, this single note before the new the old stuff let's put let's put two new lines because it'll really break it up so I'm gonna copy that guy and before I do the old stuff what was already there all the notes were already there let's put a couple new lines characters okay let's start this over because we've already got some stuff in the label and I'm going to choose the emulator okay what this does is, is restart the app um, so I'm restarting the app when it comes up it should be blank and now when I enter new items it should give me my new note, a couple new lines, and then all the old notes. Um, let's see if that, that works. Um, this connecting takes a little bit of time, takes a few seconds, and then and then the emulator will 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 boot up. Okay, there it goes. Um, and finally it displays, it should come up with a blank. Okay, I'm going to enter some notes. Playing hoops. Submit. Okay, great. Um, now let's do playing football. See how it comes out this time. And let's just show the screen. So here's my new note. After each note, I now have a new line character, a couple of them, one, two and then the, the second note. If I had a third note, it would appear here, and these guys would, would drop down. 